Hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and it is my absolute pleasure to introduce to you Baby Audio, the newest member of our expansive team of plugin manufacturers that we offer on pluginboutique.com. And in light of that, I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on their brand new VST effects processor, Super VHS. This is a multi effects processor. It's got six different effects built inside of it to help you get vintage lo fi sounds very quickly, very easily. You can obviously use one, two, or all six combined together to get some really, really great sounds. So let's jump into it. What I'm going to do is show you how I created this sound here. So it's kind of like an Asian or Middle Eastern style sitar, but I made it using piano. And I got this idea by tweaking with this drift knob here. So what I'm going to do is actually delete all these other effects. And I'm gonna just go ahead and start from scratch with the Super VHS. I'm gonna drop it on that piano. Um, let me jump into the piano MIDI here. And okay, so this is what the piano sounds like before we added any Super VHS. Pretty standard chords there. And we've got the six effects, as I said before. There's heat, which is like saturation on the lower amounts and distortion at the higher amounts. And as you pull up the heat, you're gonna get a big boost in a gain, so you probably have to pull down on the output. So you can see how that works there. Uh, there's the magic button, which is just a one knob on or off, and this is a huge chorus effect. And if you wanna use this to a smaller or less degree, you just take the mix knob and roll back on it. So double clicking any of the parameters will set them back to their original position. Drift is the parameter that adds pitch fluctuations to varying degrees. Obviously off would be all the way to the left, but as you increase, there'll be more and more pitch variations. So you can hear it there, but what I noticed when I was using this uh, Super VHS is if you move it, it actually really intensifies that pitch drifting sound. All right, so we're gonna get back to that because that's what I use to kind of uh, create that lead sound for that track I was working on. Uh, below that, we've got Wash, which is like a multi-effect in and of itself. It's got a, a hall style reverb with a limiter and a, I believe a low cut filter. Over here, we've got static, which is a white noise generator. And then we have shape, which is like a bit reducer or sample bit reducer. So as you can imagine, just using one of these effects is going to be really great, but when you start combining them all, you can really get some vintage style or lo-fi style sounds. So let's jump into how I created this sort of sitar sound <laughs> uh, with this piano here. So the first thing I did was jumped into here, and actually I put on some noise, right? And it's just a steady noise, but let's say I don't want that to happen steadily over time. I'm just gonna take this put it in front of this modnetic. What I would do is just take a, gray, a gate effect, drop it right here, and then bring this down, turn up the release, turn down the hold. And just make sure that the uh, threshold is above the steady noise. You can see the steady noise inside of here. I uh, just make sure it's just above there. And you know, now it's got a nice little envelope to follow. Once you know I've stopped producing or the track is over, the noise will go away. All right, and depending on how long your release time is, is how quickly that will roll off. So we're already on our way to, oh. I turned up the static, so I have to uh, mess with my threshold and return here. It might be best just to keep it up a little bit above. 
All right, there we go. So from there, I just put a little bit of heat on it. So I, go, I want the saturation to really warm up the sound. All right, and you can start to hear kind of a uh, distortion in the, in the right speaker there. All right, so that's cool. And I turned up the wash quite a bit. Before, after. So we're really well on our way. And then the drift. And what I did was just automated the drift inside of the MIDI clip here. So if I come in here, Super VHS, and let's go to drift. And what I wanted to do was just have that pitch jump up and down really quickly until I got the sound that I was looking for. So let's see what this sounds like. And you know, you wanna do something like this inside of Ableton Live, you now have the ability to curve. If I come in here and do something like this, I can make it curved. You know, I can really start to shape the sound. And I'd wanna almost duplicate that just so I have starting points and then adjust these to be a little bit different each time, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Like that's a little too much for that third one. And for this last one, let's just have it kind of roll off. Something like this, maybe take it. And of course you need to listen to that in the can you know in context of the music or the rest of the beat to make sure it fits with the sound and the style. So let's do that now. So perhaps this one isn't really jiving. Let's just change it up a little bit. And let's just take this and drop it down and that's really all there is to it right and perhaps again this is probably too much so what i would do is just come in here and kind of um, it's not really so much about how high or low this is in terms of automation. It's just how far apart the two points are. Because the quicker it needs to jump from one point to the other, you're going to get more of that kind of pitch drifting sound. I also found that if you keep them kind of, um, you know, like every two or four kind of on beat, it makes it sound a little bit better too. So that's pretty much all I had to do there. I did add some Modnetic just to make it a little bit more spacier. But, you know, we went from this to this. And that, in context of the track, I mean, it just jives, it just fits really, really well. And, you know, we could just go with a straight piano there, but this just gives it more character, it gives it more movement, and it adds to the flavor of the overall project. And, you know, it just immediately jumped out to me when I started just moving this drift knob up and down that I could do something crazy like a sitar sound or like the bending of a guitar string on any other instrument, like a synth or a piano, for example. So I just wanted to share that with you real quick. Super VHS and other baby audio products are available now on pluginboutique.com. I'm gonna leave a link in the video description as always. I'm Joshua Kaspar, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.